I'm John Bruner here at the OzCon Hardware Showcase in Portland, and with me is Scott Jensen from the Google Chrome team. Hi there. Tell me what you're up to. We're working on something called the physical web. It's an open standard that lets any physical device have a URL so you can walk up and use it without installing an application at all. So is this um, uh, physical devices, embedded systems actually become web servers? They're not web servers. Think of it as very sophisticated QR codes. The idea is that anything has a URL and you can go to that web page and find it out. And then once you build upon that, you can make more sophisticated servers and interactive devices. Okay, so it's like a QR code, but with much more sophisticated, much higher bandwidth uh, interaction. Exactly, and then as we develop the web standards to, for example, talk Bluetooth specifically, you can actually talk back to that device and interact with it directly. So that's kind of the next step in this project. Excellent, so you have some applications here. Uh, tell me what's, uh, what's going on. I'm just showing how any physical object can be interactive. So this is a pill bottle that has in more information about drug side effects and so forth. Here's a smart movie poster that lets you buy tickets. And then I'm simulating over here a vending I actually have back at Google, I just couldn't bring it with me here. So you'd walk up to the vending machine, pick something, and it just drops what you want. And it's, it's kind of like what Uber does for taxis, this can do for anything else. Interesting, so it, it kind of um, uh, reacts against this, this vision of uh, connectivity connecting to things where you have to download an app for every single thing you do. Exactly, I mean, we all feel and understand we're going to have millions of smart devices in the, sh in the near term. The question is, are we really going to have millions of apps on our phone? I mean, it just doesn't possibly scale. It's an exponential growth rate and we're thinking linearly. The web makes this really, really easy to handle and that's why we're doing it. Excellent, and is this your module right here? This is a Bluetooth LE module, but we have multiple companies that are doing the exact same thing, and what we're developing right now is this one-two punch for makers. We're, gonna, in, we're about to order a bunch of beacons that we can then use for hackerspaces, and then software on the phone that lets you find them and set them, and that lets people kind of create stuff. So we're actually giving 700 of these to Maker Faire New York in, about, in next month. Excellent, so anyone will be able to try it out. That's the whole idea, to create a place for us to experiment and grow, because fundamentally this is an open web project, we want everybody to participate. Excellent. Thank you so much, Scott. You're very welcome. Thanks.